Hi guys, welcome to another Top 2 figure review. I'll be reviewing Davros and the Supreme Dalek today. And tomorrow, the Colin Baker figure that I received today. My fifth classic figure. So that means five parts to the K1. So I'll be reviewing Colin Baker tomorrow and what I've got of the K1 so far. Not long to go till I complete that. So, right. We'll start off with the Supreme Dalek. Um, great detail, as I said in the RC review. It's basically the same as the RC review. Um, it's lighter, obviously, because it doesn't have the radio gear. Um, the head does 360 degree turn, which is great. Uh, the eye stuck. The my gun doesn't move. The joint is very stiff. My plunger does move, that's very stiff, but I got it moving. And I was thinking about swapping the plunger for the crucible arm on the crucible Dalek. But the um, crucible arm does not come off. So that's disappointing, but oh well, it must be exclusive. Rolls, got the spinny wheel, uh, it's painted gold and a very dark red. Um, the light around the light has been painted, which hasn't been done on any other Dalek figure before, so that's good. So, overall, I give the Supreme Dalek a 10 out of 10, just like the Crucible Dalek, because it's, it's great, there's nothing wrong with it at all. So, now, I'll review Davros, by far the best, one sec, sorry about that, I'm something made me jump, <laughs> um, yeah, by far the best Series 4 figure yet, um, let's try to get a bit of detail on his face, the detail on his face is excellent, which makes up for the poor articulation which they can't really do but they have put a lot in the arm now the arm does go up and down like that it's got a um, joint like in any other arm and at the up top right there spins like the new figures that's great they've done that no, I sort of sorry about that um yeah, the, um, memory went. Yeah, so I've got mine sort of like a, um, as if he's going to zap some of his lightning pose. Um, on the controls, he has the dome sort of control, which I saw on the episode. I don't know what any of them do, really, because he's changed. But I know the classic one had, like, the, um, like, uh, his switch which the doctor uses to um destroy his life support and destiny of the daleks don't know which one it is maybe that one there which he keeps under a cover but um yeah um the paint job is a matte black a uh, matte silver um great sculpt on the chair This bit spins. It's not as loose as the others though. Yeah, total new sculpt on here. Just a Dalek um, base. I don't know if it's a new sculpt base. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Um, the head does turn. That's good. Um, the head piece on here. It's very fragile so don't get it and start turning there because it'll break off um here you've got great detail on the face um and overall uh, i'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 definitely without a doubt no thinking about it this is a very great figure it's like the second Dav davos ever produced 
from the figure line, excluding the radio controlled one and that. Glue first, there's a Daypole one which I used in one of my episodes. But this one is phenomenal. So, the stolen earth set without a doubt gets a 10 out of 10. Easy, totally recommend it. 20 quid, totally worth it. I'd sell it for 40 quid. If I was then, they would have made so much. It is an excellent set. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, Colin Baker review, and so far well, I've made a K1 review. Then, I'll be reviewing whatever I get. Which I won't be getting much more now until Christmas, I don't think. But I'll try my best to pick some stuff up for it. So I hope you've enjoyed this look. So, um, comment, love reading comments, rate, subscribe, and keep collecting. And may the Doctor Who fan collecting force be with you.